Well, let me let be me clear. Be clear. Listen, I'm back. If you're only here for the tier list, editor me will put a timestamp on the screen to skip to if you're not trying to hear the reason I've been gone for two months. But I'm, I'm only gonna like be talking about it for like one minute. I'm not making this video 20 minutes long when people see it and they recommend it. But for the three people who actually care why I've been gone, long story, and this is simply a normal video, so I'm not trying to stretch it. So I'm not gonna get into the details. But long story short, social life been upgraded. My, my grades in school, upgraded. And the biggest reason why I've been gone from YouTube is I was moving. I moved from my old house to a new one. I have a, like a whole new place I have my setup in. And that took a month. I could not upload it for a month. So I didn't have Wi-Fi, so I just couldn't upload. I haven't even typed or clicked on my own oh Discord server for God. almost two months straight. Because oh. of how distant I've been from YouTube. I was just not, I couldn't upload. And then I, I just didn't want to even click on my own Discord server because I feel like people are just going to like, oh. you know? But now that I'm back, I'm going to be active again in my Discord. Uh, uploads will be crazy again. It's only mid-summer, so I have time. I, f I feel like I ruined my goal of 10K before the end of the year. But at the same time, only it's only been two months. It's not that crazy. You know, we only halfway through the year. I have all of fall to go crazy. I have the rest of the summer to go crazy. Yeah, we just have a lot of time to go crazy. I'm back, and I at least want to hit 8K before the end of the year. That's that's the least. That's the least. While well, I've been gone, I ain't gonna lie. Deep Woken and Kiseki have had me by the grip of my nutsack. Oh my God. I have not quit Roblox when I was gone. But Deep Woken was there. Oh, man. Deep Woken was there. Deep Woken layer 2. Can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> All right, talk is over. Let's get into the tier list now, man. I don't want my video to be an hour long when people see it and they recommend it. So first off, full screen that bit. Let's get right into it. What's the first thing here? We got water. So water and Rogue Demon. If you haven't played Rogue Demon, man, make sure you play it. That's for the people, you know what I'm saying? So water and Rogue Demon. So water has, a, it does a lot of damage. First of all, it does a lot of damage. Probably does some of the most damage in the game besides flame. I don't think anything else does as much damage as water. The teleport move, the TP move, where you can like TP to them three times. If they don't know how to fight that, then they're going to get punished really bad because that's also a combo extender. And you can use waterfall basin. It's it just like the combos do a lot of damage. And anything that does half your health, it might have to go into the top tier. But the thing is, ultimate sometimes, it's, kind of, it's probably the hardest ultimate to hit in the game. No, like... Besides the sickle, sickles is not even like an ultimate you gotta use up close. You gotta use that when you're far range. But water's ultimate is kind of bringing it from top tier to OP. It's one of the worst ones in the game. I'm gonna lie, it's really easy to counter, really easy to get away from. So I say it's def. This is A tier. This is S A B C D. This is definitely the top of the A tier. There's nothing beating water in A tier. Ultimate's holding it back, and the fact that if you know how to counter water, you can really just dash away from waterfall base in and. You can block the first two hits of constant flux. What, what's that move that TPs you to them? You can you can block the first two moves of that. And for the third one, all you gotta do is dodge. And they can't get a combo started. And the fact that water has no evasive, definitely A tier. It's the only thing in the game with no, without an evasive. <laughs> Next up, we got sound. <laughs> sound is okay, right? It, does, it doesn't do that much damage. Musical performance is really good. It gives you iframes, but it doesn't really have good stun lock. They can they can kind of walk out of it half the time. It happens a lot. String performance isn't really the best for combo starting because sometimes it just knocks them away. You can't even M1 afterwards. Roar is pretty much the only thing in the moves that it does damage besides the alts. Obviously, the alt gotta do damage. And yeah, flashbang is really good. It's a really good evasive. One of the best evasives in the game. But just for how fun sound it, like, almost everything's a combo extender. There's nothing that knocks back, and when it does knock back, it's a glitch. So, sounds, best combo extenders in the game, but the damage is mid, because sometimes the moves are glitching, they can walk out of it. It's not enough stun. They fix the stun, it's still going to be A tier, because it doesn't do enough damage. And it's the reason why when everything combo extends. Next, we have String. String has two moves, only two moves as I'm recording. Like, maybe it's, after the video come out, It'll have a full move set, but for now, and when it does have a full move set, you can check the pin comment because the pin comment is gonna have an updated ranking for a string. But for right now, when I'm recording the video, it has string swipe, which is a combo extender, and it has the string move where you pull them in, or you can like, like Spider-Man away or something. I don't know. I don't have string. It's like pay to access right now. I don't have it. So right now, it's kind of meh. It's C tier. Obviously, it has two moves. It's not being fair. 
but it got to put it somewhere. It's still in the game after all. Next we have Akaza. Um, <clears throat> Akaza. So it does decent damage. It's like sound. It doesn't really do too much damage to the combos, but that's because everything's a combo extender, just like sound. So it can't do that much damage. The ultimate, ultimate is good. Ultimate is good. There's nothing really wrong with sound. It has like only four moves. It has it has less moves than uh, everything else. It just doesn't do that much damage. I'll put it in OP. Probably above. I probably probably better than sound. Not gonna lie. Scream is a terrible evasive though. It really doesn't. Half the time it doesn't work. And when it does work, I think it stuns you too. Yeah, it stuns you and the enemy at the same time. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of eh. I'll probably put sound above it. Sounds better in my opinion. Arcus is good though. It's still OP. When you hit that disorder combo to the M1s and then the uh, air type, yeah, it, it do some pretty good damage. Next we have uh, Thunder Brain Dead. Literally the best thing you can use in the game. Uh, everything has no startup. Obviously, everything is blockable, but it's low cooldowns. You know, high damage combos. Thunder is what every every month everyone probably whips out when they're losing the battle. You know what I'm saying? Thunder is just really busted, and because nothing really combo extends except for Thunder Clap and Flash. It doesn't really have combo extenders like that. And the ultimate is really good to get a run away with, or just like continue to combo on them like throw him into a wall and he just you know it's really good thunder is brain dead anyways next up we have arrow so i probably put i arrow would be top tier arrow would be top tier if it was not blockable like everything arrow has is blockable um all you gotta do is hold f against arrow really i'm pretty sure the ultimate block breaks i think or goes through i don't know the ultimate is actually terrible it has the worst ultimate in the game Arrow explode is trash. Damage is bad. Uh, it's kind of hard to hit. It's close range. It's really bad. It has a short cooldown. Shorter, shorter is alt cooldown in the game, but it's not worth it. Just all, oh, it's really bad. So I have to put arrow in OP for now, cause everything's blockable. It's gotta hold F really. When you do get the combo off, when they when they let go F for one second, that's a lot of damage. So it might have to go above sound and Akaza, cause. Arrow combos are so brain dead. You just gotta fish for when they stop holding F. Next we got Flame, easily top tier. Uh, combo extender move. Then you have the the one that teleports to them. And the ultimate. Don't get me started on ultimate doing half your health. It literally just does half health. I mean, you do have to be low to use it, and you gotta know exactly when to use it. Because I'm pretty sure if you use, if you try to use it and you're not low enough, it goes on cooldown. That's probably a glitch. And if it is a glitch, it doesn't matter if it's a glitch or not. It still the alt still does half health, so most damaging alt in the game. Uh, the moves do a lot of damage to itself. It just does the most damage in the game, literally. Like with water, water is carried by its combos to do a lot of damage. But flame moves, they do a lot of damage too. But the alt is just crazy. Yeah, that's li last but least is sickle. Sickles is also S tier. I I'm not gonna lie, sickles bottom of S tier because first of all. Combos really good. The get out the evasive is really good. Uh probably the best evasive in the game in my opinion. I'm pretty sure. I think it stuns you too. So you can't combo extend off it, but still. It it's just like No, it's not the best evasive in the game. It's it's up there though. I like it. The flying sickles, auto target move, you know, they don't hold F. They're they're gonna get hit by it. And that stuns them for a while, so you can dash up, hit them with the Rapid, what the little rapid slash move? Forgot what it's called. And then, don't get me started. The ultimate, the ultimate does a lot of damage. Yeah, obviously you have to stand still and charge it up to hit him. But really, you shouldn't be using it up close anyways. You can't just throw. You can't just charge up a raw blood rage. And the blood rage only takes like five to six seconds to fully charge. So it's not that bad. You gotta, you pretty much gotta use it when you're running up to start a fight. You gotta use that to start a fight. It's not something you save for the end. So yeah. This is my list, because this is my point of view, this is my, my opinion, so don't get too mad. If you have your own opinion, let me know what you change in the comments. I'll probably link the tier list too. If y'all want the tier list, let me know. So, yeah, end of the video. I don't want to make it too long. Yeah, actually, how long have I been recording? 10 minutes? Alright. As you can see, they have follow my my, my Twitter at the bottom, follow Cheezin, 140 followers. I want to get 200 before the year ends, that'd be great. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like on the video, might make an updated video. 
when they have like six more abilities. I'm not gonna make an updated tier list if they only add one new thing. They gotta add a lot of new stuff and then I'll make an updated tier list. But until then, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, bro. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and peace out. Yeah, <laughs>